We're going to talk about another Italian brand, but this one is also riding the vintage styling trend. However, even though it's riding that same familiar design, it manages to surprise me to the point that I actually changed my mind or opinion about the riveteness. This video is brought to you by Vicaria. This Italian brand is based on Italy, where the name is also derived from the Roman city of Vogra. From here, you can already see where this brand takes its inspirations. The word derivativeness often takes on a bad reputation because of the very real issue of counterfeiting. But this is far from this brand's design direction. Whatever they've borrowed from other watch designs, this diver called the Calypso fuses them all together and executes them in a subtle but tight manner. Beginning with the dimensions, this 42 by 13.6 mm watch wears prominent like a Seiko diver but seals the lugs out for a more streamlined profile and the crown guard is a bit more conservative. On the wrist, it's also quite familiar to wear and that's all good. These kinds of cases tend to be hard workers but also wrist pleasers. The female end links also makes it quite comfortable to carry as it hugs your wrist in the best possible angles. Operating this NH38 caliber works as convenient as possible with the very easy to grip crown and amazingly steady turn. It's very premium feeling at your fingertips. Of course, this is a diver that's very capable with a 300 meter water resistance rating once the crown is screwed down. Another thing to love is that bezel that just wins your day as you work with it and listen to its sound. There's just an upspring to it and virtually no backplay. Looking for something not to love? This thin clasp and a mediocre case back that I'm very glad that I don't see at all often. All of these scratches are of course not mine. Though I have notoriously rage triggering mittens, another reviewer loved this case back first. So far the Calypso is steeping the needle over the desirable part of the scale. This is a product of the refinements from Mark 1 to Mark 2. This is something I always encourage all brands to do, to keep improving on their flagship models rather than to settle on introducing different collections all the time. The biggest improvement between these two is the NH38 caliber that gets rid of that unholy ghost date function. Something that we'll not be getting rid of anytime soon is our strap changing shenanigans that takes full advantage of this derivative case design. This steel dial simply looks gorgeous on this gray tropical rubber strap. It's also a plus to have these quick-release spring bars, a massive convenience and time saver. If you get tired of this setup, playing around with a leather strap works wonders for this diver's look. Now here's the first surprise. How close is this case to the Seiko Diver profile? It turns out that it's pretty close. You could literally use the Seiko Jubilee bracelet, including its end links, on this Calypso. I'm betting my skipper's hat that many of you that's eyeing to add this into your collection might actually already have a Seiko 5 Sports GMT in your watch box. Some may argue that this is a marginal upgrade to Vicaria's bracelet, but you cannot deny that it multiplied the possible configurations available for these two pieces. And beside the Mark 1, again, it changes its personality with a simple swap of the Seiko Jubilee band. Let's now add some foggy super focus views on this diver to see what else sells it to our eyes. The immediate attraction goes to this aluminum dual finish bezel. Its vintage visuals coupled with aluminum's warm appeal gives its owners a taste of the past and a chance to add his own marks on these parts. Tilting over on the side, we won't fault you for mistaking this for a Seiko case because it does look like one. It's just a little cleaner and less curvier. The bracelet has these polished center links that references back to the polished sides. These are shaped in a way to give enough articulation but has sufficient surface area to show off its finish. The class may be the worst part to derive from but at least we're getting some milk bridges here. It may be a cost saving decision like this case pack that's now full of scratches. Of course, that's the whole point of the vintage styling but here it gets accelerated rather quickly because of the polished finish. Now the very reason why we're talking about this watch, the dial. This dial is amazing in many levels. Its texture is lovely and the applied indexes are crisply executed even under this close magnification. The text 
could have been slightly smaller, but I grew to love these Italian flourishes. The hands are also beautifully polished. Whenever there's dust or imperfections on these parts, viewers would easily point them out to me. There's none on these calypsos. All of these angular shapes create a dazzling effect at whatever angle you look at them. But then, this is where the second surprise hits me. This has one of the best looms I've ever seen on a micro brand. Vicaria added a really potent mix of C3 Super Luminova and BGW9 loom on these dial elements. This quite literally outshines many watches I've reviewed. I've talked before about my stance about derivativeness. Since every modern watch out there has been derivative at some point, the word itself shouldn't really factor too much on the watches you buy. With the pre-order price of 199 euros, this certainly makes it a consideration just for the value alone. The upgrades from the previous model also points to a sign that this brand aims to please its audience and further its product line. The line as it is now is not just an option in the ever-growing microbrand dive category, but a real, desirable, and well-executed timepiece for those on a budget. Oh, and it has those surprises that you'll definitely welcome to play around with. Yes, it's the good kind of derivativeness, the kind that delivers the best of what it took. The Calypso takes advantage of derivativeness by increasing its playability with the multitude of straps that could fit any Seiko case, and at the same time, it executed that dial beautifully. Now, if you're going to borrow any design from an existing watch, make sure that you deliver where it can, and that's exactly what Vicaria did here. 